um, Anika, uh, you know, I'd love to hear kind of your perception about how you see your discipline uh, contributes to others in our program. Yeah, I think Dana did an excellent job, of course, at capturing what organizational behavior is. I can give you maybe more of a somewhat academic driven definition, um, but really it's just understanding how people think, feel, and behave in the workplace, which is useful for anyone and everybody. Um, one thing we also do a lot in our courses is teach evidence-based management, which just means that we can't rely only on our personal experience or our opinion to drive results or influence how we make decisions in the workplace. It's really important that we draw on other people's experiences, which you know we can call evidence, um, but there's a lot of different ways you can collect a whole host of people's experiences to inform maybe the best way or a better way to do something. Um, and so that's really what we're doing in class. We're, we're learning some theory, we're learning about research, but we're also learning how to put that into practice at a very personal capacity. And again, that would be beneficial to someone in finance, to someone in accounting, certainly to managers who are managing a team of people um, or just being a team member yourself. Right. So learning why people think, feel and behave the way that they do at work can really help you interfere and interject to influence the behaviors that you want to see in the workplace.